Yeah, that's good. Even these rim rocks are pretty warm. But most importantly, everything below the ground level is red hot under there. Matt's putting the finishing touches on the primitive pit he'll use to roast his wild turkey. But it's a delicate process, and any missteps could cost him hard-earned meat. So right now, I'm taking the horse tail, lining the pit so I can put the turkey in and it won't burn. Any type of green, rich, rich plant will work well for this, as long as it's not poisonous. Put a little more watercress on the top. Really seal that in. It's always a possibility you don't get enough grass around to get, and then the bird burns in certain spots. A few of these rocks I'll try to get in. Just get a little bit more heat trapped in there. Whenever you build it, that's the biggest concern, is making sure you get it hot enough. Everything's in the right position. Okay, that's probably about all the rocks I can fit in there. Yeah, still good heat in there. Even when cut off from oxygen, a thick bed of hot coals can generate heat for up to three days. This is looking pretty good. At this point, you gotta get it sealed in really fast. You can see the steam wanting to escape. That's a good sign. So this covering really holds in the heat. Yeah, this is great. So what I'm doing right now is putting the fire back on because by putting on the coals, I'm gonna get some radiant heat that's gonna push down and keep that capstone warm. So that way the heat that's already in there won't escape. So hopefully I got it, got it all good this time. We'll see.